Nashville and I have a, a history that goes a long way back, and it's a history that has been replicated many times on many Jethro Tull records over the years. You know, we, we have in the world a whole bunch of really iconic venues in which the sound is absolutely atrocious. There are a lot of places that are great on paper and great in the imagination, but they're really tough places to play. I call those sort of venues a clangor because it's a the clang, it's bang, crash, everything's really metallic and reverberating. And, and this is not a clangor. It ends up sounding unbelievably special. It has a kind of spiritual buzz about it. I'm a bit of a sucker for places that have got atmosphere, got ghosts, you know, friendly ghosts. We don't want to hear a new record from an old artist because we know we're going to be disappointed, you know, we, we just know it's not going to be up to what we think and, and that's a rather sad kind of state of affairs that we make that assumption that uh, just because you're old and you've been around for a while you can't do anything new and you know, fair enough, most of us can't, not convincingly, but I'm here to try. <laughs>